Hey, Ferran here. So before we get to anything, just a few thanks. I'd, I'd like to say big thanks to everybody in the Reddit thread. You guys gave me some pretty good feedback and uh, some motivation to keep on things going. I have taken some hints you guys have pointed out there. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, I'm recording using a new mic today. That's partially why this episode is so late. Also, um, for the couple plus of days I've been a little bit ill, so I, I don't want to record with my voice being like totally, totally, totally fucked over. <laughs> As if I wasn't hard to understand already. Also, I've talked to some people and um, they, they told me that I have too high of a standard. I, I have too high standards for what I consider a good fight, so I'm gonna include some stuff that I wouldn't previously do. Um, and we'll see how it goes. If, if you guys don't like it, just make sure to downvote and fucking unsubscribe or comment saying, hey, you fuckwit, stop putting up those garbage fights out. Today's video is about the Vigilant, uh, Rail Vigilant. I've been using that fit for for a couple for a couple of months now. From now now and then, uh, whenever I feel like flying something else, uh, it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I, I'd say even after even after the medium rail nerf, vigilance have been buffed in previous um, pirate cruiser rebalance um, phase, so they're pretty strong right now. It, although people don't really seem to. Uh, I recognize that strength, I think, because I don't see any of those ships around, like, not even, even a single Vigilant I have seen in that configuration, only like Arno or something. This is a Rail Vigilant, so it gives you pretty decent range, 22 optimal with anti matter plus 30 falloff, pretty much 500 something DPS with just, uh, with just the guns, so I'd say it's pretty nice, because this is like a null Slightly, this is like 100 more DPS than you would get with Null using blasters, heavy neutrons. It's pretty fast compared to other cruisers. It goes 2.5 with only one nano and so pretty fast. Ta the tank is pretty thin though. It's only one LSC, but what you're relying on is not it's not your sheer EHP, but your range control, and tr you are trying to stay within this 25 to 30 kilometers sweet spot and um, with the Defense, powerful 90% defensive web, you can stop your targets from moving around the grid or pop any tackle. If you actually load Javelin, I've seen one guy in my corp uh, fly this ship and completely decimate a small interceptor gang. He killed like 5 or five, 5 or 7 or 6 something like that interceptors with just the Javelin and Federation Navy stasis web fire. 90% web because it's it's just so powerful you will have no problem tracking it. Interceptors have to be slowed down because 10% uh, of their speed. As far as pimp goes, you don't need to pimp it that much. The only thing you really need is the faction web because it's really broken. Some kind of faction or dead space MWD because the rails are really cap hungry. You want to have as much cap as possible in the uh, bet. That space type some MWDs are gonna provide you that. Other than that, really doesn't require that much. Alright, so in this fight, I'm playing with Chris Laris in, um, in the Gila. We we're fighting some guys in Aquarius. So basically, what, hap what happened here was you jumped into the system, Chris went to the station, then jumped back, and I stayed on the other side, and the small appeared. So I just started shooting him. The, the thrust was a little bit late, so he dies pretty quick. I'm just sitting at this, um, sitting at this safe 30 km range, and just popping him with rails. And the drake comes, and up, right after the mall dies, I just switched the drake, and Chris is gonna jump in in a second and start adding his DPS to them. It's nothing out of ordinary here, just to prep for the rest of the engagement. Some initial guys coming in. The station is pretty close to, this, to the uh, to the gate, so you, you should you should really keep a close eye on what's in these can and uh, what can be unlocked and what can be common in, because the last thing you want is a Hugin. Uh, landing like 20 kilometers off you and webbing you to your death. So with that the drink gone, uh, we we had we de aggressed and jumped uh, jumped through because they formed up a gang, uh, some kind of small defense gang, and they, they came to the gate. So not to fight us, so we jumped through and decided to fight on the other side because some of the guys walked the pink, some of them landed in the bubbles. Also a saber came from the other side and bubbled the gate. So. Here Chris is already engaging the save and the caracal, I'm jumped in. I checked my, I checked my position on the grid in relation to other ships, pop this, this caracal. When I'm jumping, you might want to, most of the time, you, you want to check where you are on the grid, how far the tackles are, 
where's you, where are your allies before you decide where to burn and like only a few seconds but it can save your life sometimes so yeah Saber is down now and the local is going up they are training they are getting into the system second first is the first one to decloak and even though he's got like a beastly tank uh, we assume that uh, we're gonna go for him first yeah so the second starts to burn after uh, either I'm, I'm reloading the medium distance ammo and he makes a mistake of burning too far away from the rest of the gang so he's isolated, isolated now, Chris is keeping a point on him I'm just trying to deal some DPS I'm, I'm making a mistake of burning a little bit too far away from here from the cyclone which is ultimately gonna lead to him surviving this because um, I'm just too scared at this point to commit to him fully to commit the web considering what's in grid um, Raven one of those canes is an RT cane so he has good range as well but yeah there's some there's some pretty scary DPS on the field I'm not that tanky I have only 8k shields so I don't really I actually thought we were gonna break this guy before he gets to the gate but apparently he was baiting us or something just holding back a little bit because he's he put him to low armor and now he's like like he, he's completely tank and fine now even though I'm, I'm heating the, the, the cyclone is diagonal by this time and on the gate nothing else seems to be burning out in, in the hint I should have probably been more aggressive here here I'm checking for the guns on this here again he was the AC cane the other one had Artis shot us on the other side of the cyclone so yeah at this point they just jump out and leave us not too exciting I know what, what can you do? yeah so after the, those guys left uh, we immediately um, burned back to the gate and the aggroed um, because we are, we are hoping to catch some stragglers and catch some stragglers we did and this mod just for some reason stayed on the grid it turns out it was the same guy I killed earlier pretty much solo him earlier and he's just sitting here losing his record something I don't really know so we just blow him up a minute later or a minute and a half later Chris just jumped on the other side and um, got himself a, I think it was high grade, yeah high grade I agree, crystal, uh, crystal, crystal pod. So, so not not bad actually. Yes, efficiency was saved. This fight might have gotten a little bit better if I actually committed a cycling. If I put that broken 90% web on him um, to keep him from reapproaching the gate, but um, I decided to fail instead. So, um, I guess that's it. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time then.